Hey guys, Mitch here. Today iOS 6 Beta 2 has been released to developers, and along with its usual bug fixes and improvements, it did come with some new buttons and changes that I found so far. First off, in the settings application here, there is a new photos and camera shared photo streams. With iOS 6, you'll be able to create photo streams and share them to your selected friends or family. Twitter jumped on board with the new UI icons in both the notification center and the photo sharing options here. In our general, we now have an option in our cellular section at the bottom to have a both iCloud documents, iTunes, and reading list for using only our cellular data for. In the notification center, the calendar does give you the time zone from 5.15 to 6 o'clock, for example. We now have a new guided access in the learning section here. So to access this, you have to set up a passcode. So for this example, we will be using 000. You can easily go ahead and type in your passcode. And then once done, you can go into any application on your device to actually starting using guided access. Now this is almost like a kiosk mode, similar to the ones that you use in smart signs in an Apple retail store. So if you go ahead and actually activate it by triple tapping the home button here, the little guided access prompt will come up. At the bottom, we do have a few options here. This does include the touch and the motion, so you can disable either one of these features. So if I disable the touch, I will be unable to actually touch the screen here. This is like in the Apple stores if you would wanted to uh, play around with them. And to activate it again, you will have to type in your passcode. And then you can easily go ahead and disable the touch feature and then re-enable it. And you'll have the option to begin touching your device again you can swipe left or right like normally in addition we also have the option to blank out parts of our screen to do this you can easily draw a square around the section that you will want to blank out it will conform around the section and now if there was a button there I'm unable to actually press in that certain section of the New York hourly section in the Passbook app, it has been upgraded with descriptions for the different sections, but it's still unable to work in iOS 6 Beta 2. In our Photos app here, we now have a new plus sign at the top left-hand corner, allowing us to easily create new albums. So you can go ahead and create your new al albums here. And then you can choose photos from your camera roll or your photo library here. So we go ahead and select a few here. You can easily do this now with the new plus sign that's right on your album section of your photos application. We now have a new photo stream section in iOS 6. So here you'll be able to create photo streams to share with your friends and family. You can either type in a person's email address, phone number. So if I go ahead and type in an email address here, it will use my contacts here. And then I'm able to type out a name of the actual photo stream here and then it will be created. Clicking the button itself, you can go ahead and edit and add photos for people to view. Now, this will almost be like a Facebook sharing site because you'll be able to share all these photos and actually comment on them. So you can go ahead and start the slideshow here by clicking the play button. This slideshow will begin here. You do have some transition options like normally. And at the bottom right here, we now have a new comment sharing option. So if you go ahead and select that, you'll be able to type out a comment here. And anybody that is watching your photo stream uh, site, either on iCloud itself or on another iDevice, will be able to see the comment that you have posted. Another option in our privacy in the location services, at the bottom we now have the option to actually select our system services ranging from the network search down to the traffic down to the Wi-Fi networking so you can easily toggle these on and off in iOS 6 beta 2. In our usage we now have a new photos and camera which has been combined and in it you'll be able to actually view the contents of how much you are using for your camera roll, your photo library, or your photo stream. In our cellular section the enable 3G toggle has been on for the iPhone 4 only at the moment. So if you guys do like these videos, don't forget to give a like up, leave any comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated.